well, she's all loaded up. Ready to head for home. Pitch at garage. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a cold start on this Ford 5600 Narrow. It's been sitting outside for a couple months. You can see we got a little bit more snow. There's about a foot on top of the turbo truck back here. We got a bunch of freezing rain today. I cleaned out a little spot in the shop here. I'm going to pull that tractor up in there and leave the slot open in case I need to get my car or my truck in here. But I'm going to try and get this tractor fired up bring it in here so I can get it thawed out and then I'm going to be putting a uh, little bit of a turbo on there trying to get this thing cranked up to about 100 horsepower. I already cranked it a little bit. It wouldn't go on its own. Got the charger on it. I'm going to spray a little bit of starting fluid in there and see if it'll fire off. I just ran all over my hands. Nice. Well, I got the tractor inside. I'm going to let it thaw out over the drain a little bit. And then I'll pull it up in this slot here. Now the reason that I've got this tractor in here, it's got a blown head gasket. Push this coolant out, out of the overflow there. What I'm gonna do is pull the head, probably have a magnet flux, and then I'm going to throw a head gasket in it. And over here in this bin, I should have everything that I need to turbocharge this thing. Um, so the cool thing about this tractor is, so it's a 5600 Ford, but it's kind of a rare bird because it's a narrow tractor. I think it's got a 3000 front axle under it, and it's got a special stubby rear axle in it. I mean, this thing is ridiculously narrow. It's uh, closer to four feet than it is to five. Now I'm going to widen it out of here because I'm going to put 14928 rear tires on it. I'm going to ditch these steel uh, orchard fenders and put a set of fiberglass fenders on there. And then, one other thing about this tractor is that it has the same engine as a 7600. So I can throw that turbo on there and crank this thing up to about 100 horsepower. Now I'm not sure where this tractor was made. I'm guessing for Spain or Argentina or something like that because all the warning labels on the tractor are in Spanish. So I'm going to get this thing pulled up in this slot uh, tonight or tomorrow after it uh, thaws out a little bit and then I'll get that sheet metal off of there and then I'll pull that head off there see what the head gasket looks like I should have everything I need in there that's like a I think it's an M&W kit I used one and if the exhaust isn't right I'll just make a new one but yeah it's a pretty cool old tractor I think it's going to run and sound pretty good when I'm done with it. So I think I'm going to make a video for it for the YouTube channel. So I don't know if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, but I'm going to be uploading this to the channel. It's uh, work that I'm doing in my own shop here. And uh, I don't know, it's pretty interesting stuff if you ask me. I think putting turbos on old tractors like this is pretty cool. For now, I'll just let it thaw out. And I will keep you guys posted. Until next time, this has been Wasted Paycheck Garage.